Xin chào độc giả của Top Sao. Hiện tại thì Linh đang có mặt uh, ở đây cùng với bà Julia Molly là chủ tịch của Miss World. Hiện tại thì bà Julia Molly đang có mặt tại Việt Nam để chuẩn bị cho những hành trình vô cùng thú vị sắp tới. Hello Mrs. Julia Molly. How are you? I'm good. good to meet you after good to so meet long. You again. It's been five years, right? Wow, I know and you're still more beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Can you say uh, a few words to the audiences? Oh, I would like to say I'm so, so happy to be in Vietnam. I remember many years ago in a coach going all the way over your beautiful country. Everybody was so kind to us and to be back is really beautiful. Thank you. This is not your first time in Vietnam, right? Well, I was so lucky to be here many years ago okay. and travel everywhere. Okay. But it was more that we were enjoying um, the children and doing a big fundraiser Good. in each place. So um, I'm happy to be back and thank you for inviting me. It's our pleasure. So for this time, uh, you are here for Mr. World, right? Yes, <laughs> Mr. World. We are all so excited for this time. And uh, the first question, uh, what expectations do you have for the 11th Mr. World, which will be held in Vietnam? Well, I have the expectation of Vietnam, Vietnam being the welcoming home and for your, of course, your wonderful young Vietnamese men that are going to um, welcome us. Um, I think it's very important for the world to see the good that men can do. Often we hear so many things that men do badly yeah. and I feel that we should try and look at all the positive things and all the wonderful things mankind can do together. So you will be really interested in, in being able to see a show where everything they're doing is useful. It may be building bridges, it may be building houses for children, it may be helping old people, but it's something good. And also the camaraderie between the men of different countries mm -hmm. to show there is good, good times ahead. Why not? Everything is miserable and bad, but there are good things in the world. I know, right? Uh, and the audiences in Vietnam are very, very excited for Mr. World, especially this is the return after five years, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. There were many things, but now the time is right after COVID and the different things that delayed us. Yeah. But you will love it because the, the guys are really fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I think the time is right and the place is right, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so will Mr. World keep the same format as previous seasons or will there be any new changes? Well, it's hard for me to be exact. It will be a format similar. Mm -hmm. But of course, everything is slightly different in different countries, in different places. But they will be expected to do many things, fitness and, and uh, being able to assist with building something useful and learning from Vietnamese men what, what they can do and how they can do it together. And the camaraderie and the fun they have is something quite different. Yeah. So uh, have you met the contestants of Mr. World Vietnam? Some of them were wonderful. They came up to the airport. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so did, to greet us. Did you have any uh, first expressions with them? Oh, just the, the excitement. Um, as a grandmother, you know, I have a lot of fondness for the sweet smile of, of the young. I know. So I have to understand that the wonderful thing is that they're happy, the excitement. But the most important thing is that they work together. And if you can all work together, you have a respectfully you have a great great um, time and you have a great time to consider remembering all the things we are going to do in Vietnam yeah. so it's something I have to keep a few secrets because okay the show is very important <laughs> we're looking forward to the for the secrets to be unveiled <laughs> oh yes so what about Miss World Miss, well, Mr. Miss we are going to have uh, Mr. World in September will it so ever be organized in Vietnam well, that's my dream. That's my dream. Our dream too. Is it? Yeah. Once, once we can do it, I'm sure we, we will. But I think it has to be everyone working together to find a way of, of doing it. I hope one day Miss World will be held in Vietnam because it will be a massive chance for us to show our diverse culture as well as for Beauty with a Purpose projects, uh, you know. Do you know, there's one thing I would love dearly is to be in Vietnam and have Miss World here. We have 145 countries 
and that would all enjoy what Vietnam shows. But <laughs> that is up to all the people concerned. What are your feelings about the beauty with the puppets? Protects that Vietnamese representatives bring to Miss World, and what do you expect for the next project? Beauty with a purpose is something individual from each country. Each person that comes to Miss World is working in their own country, doing a purpose, a project that will help. Whether it's uh, helping old people, children, whatever, they come to the table. You can see on our website. Beauty with a purpose, and it will show you all the different wonderful things young people are doing. As I've said, my wish is to see the good things people do. We hear so many bad things, but let's hear some good things that young people do together. Young people are fantastic if you give them opportunities, and there are many children that don't have opportunities. So we try very hard to do our best. And young men do as well. They will help us. They will care for us, like the women will. So we will all work together and and do what we can. I know, right? When we come together, the massive change is exactly. possible. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> You've got it. <laughs> so, um, actually, our Vietnamese representatives have tried so hard at Miss World, but unfortunately, we have never won any crown. So, <laughs> <laughs> what do you think that? Vietnamese representative should improve so that we get closer to that beautiful blue oh, crown. Oh, bless you! There's nothing I would like better. But do remember, while you are doing that, 145 people are doing the same. And the whole idea is, it's the spirit of adventure. It's the mm. importance to try, and this is why, you know, it takes time. But but you, you're enjoying everything you are doing. While you are going in for the show, even if you don't reach making and getting the crown, you get so much more friendship around the world, and that is like another crown, yeah. because you're able then to see people all over the world, and you can travel and have good friends. I expect you still remember when you have many friends from the, when you were together with other girls. Yeah. So the value is the crown is one thing. But the knowledge and the freedom to know around the world the people, to me, is the winner. <laughs> I agree. I still remember we had a lot of good memories back in London in 2019. Yes. And the thing I love the most is when I step out on the stage that night in the our final. It's it was my chance to show people about my country, exactly. my pride. When I waved my flag, I was cutting onions. I was crying. Oh, I think no, other that's... girls were crying too because it's. You're proud. We are overwhelmed with proud, right? Exactly, with pride and and also the fact that you, they share it with you, and when you have the whole world, the whole world together, for a long time, you're able to understand better everyone, yeah. and that's why I say to any Vietnamese, try to get out and about and make friends across the world because that way we will learn so much more and respect each other more. True. You know, lo the greatest love is the greatest respect, and so we'll have a much better world for it. I know, right? So, uh, as a last question, oh, can you send wishes to the contestants of the Miss World, Mr. World Vietnam this year? Oh, I'm, well, bless them. I wish you <laughs> all the very best. The great thing is coming together. The great thing is sharing. The great thing is doing the sports, even if you're not the best. Try, and if you're the best at doing something to help, do your best, and let's leave a legacy in Vietnam with something that you are going to leave here for the children, whether it's a house, whether it's a home for old people, or whether it's just a visit to spare time with people. And I know you'll have a great time, and we'll love having you. Thank you so much for your uh, wishes and advice to uh, the contestants of Mr. World Vietnam. This will be the first year that we have Mr. Yes. World Vietnam, and I hope that the the competition will be successful and more exciting. Furthermore, we will have Mr. World be held in Vietnam. I really looking forward for that. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm much. so proud of you. <laughs> Look at you now. <laughs> You're It's even more beautiful. Thank you. It's all because. <laughs> I, I feel very lucky to be a part of Miss World Thank you. family. We, you I are the lot. family. 
This we are it. family. We are and, all sisters. And the boys will become family too. This is the point. I know. Mm. So thank you so much for your time being in this talk show with us. <laughs> I and love it. Thank sharing you. Sharing so much uh, information with us. It's a pleasure. So we have a small flower bouquet for you oh, to welcome you, you to you. Vietnam. Thank you. Here it is. Oh. I hope you like it. Oh, I. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, it matched Thank with you. your shirt. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. much for coming to our country. I hope you have a good time in Vietnam this time. I'm so proud and thank you. God bless. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> She's you. great. Vậy là chúng ta đã biết thêm rất nhiều những thông tin tới từ bà Julia Molly về cuộc thi Mr. World Việt Nam cũng như là cuộc thi Mr. World sẽ được tổ chức tại Việt Nam vào năm nay. À, quý vị khán giả hãy cùng theo dõi những thông tin tiếp theo tại kênh Top Sao nhé. Còn bây giờ thì tạm, tạm biệt. biệt và hẹn gặp lại.